Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to color grade raw footage in DaVinci Resolve 18. And on this occasion, we'll be working in color managed environment as opposed to manually changing color space. So I think that you will find it very helpful. This is our before and after. And I hope that you will like it. So let's move to the main part of the video. And this is our clip. I got it from Artgrid. I'll leave you a link to that website below. It has been shot with RED camera in RAW format, so we have to convert it to REC709. And today I will show you how to do it by changing the project settings and going from non-color managed to color managed environment. So basically we have to click on the settings icon here, then we have to go to color management. And here your color science will be automatically set to DaVinci YRGB. So let's click on it and let's change it to DaVinci YRGB color managed. We can also choose here to work in ACES, which is a bit different color science, but it's not a topic for today's tutorial. So I won't be going into more details for now. Then we can also untick automatic color management to customize the settings a bit more like color processing mode that is automatically set to SDR Rec 709, but we could set it, for example, to DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate, which is a color processing mode actually designed to be used with white gamut footage. And it basically changes how some of the tools like color wheels respond. But I want to keep it very simple for today. I'll be going into more details in one of my future videos and explaining it a bit more. So don't worry about it now and leave SDR Rec 709 here. Then we can change the output color space. And my monitor is actually calibrated as Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. So I'll leave it like this here. But if you, for example, work on your laptop, change it to Rec 09A. Okay, I'm gonna hit save and look what happened. Our clip just got automatically converted to Rec 709. So we don't have to use any color space transform node. And also, if you had more raw clips on your timeline here, they all would change to Rec 709 as well. So working in color managed environment is very efficient. And now we are ready to look at the node tree. It's also a very simple node tree. The shot is very beautiful and doesn't need many adjustments. So I've got here, as usual, the balance and exposure nodes. Then I've got here three layer nodes. I hope that you remember from my previous videos when we use layer nodes, the node below always takes a priority over the node above. So here I'll be isolating the skin and the white color of the shirt. And then on the top node, I will be creating a look without affecting these two elements. That is my plan for today. And then at the very end, I've got a node called adjustments in case I want to perform some additional adjustments. Let's start from the exposure. So I'll click on my node then. I will also change the vector scope to waveform and I will use the primary wheels to adjust the shot. So I will push the gain up, then lift also a bit as the shot looks quite dark and contrasty already, and then gamma down as well. And now this is before and after. Now let's move to balance and I can see that the clip is rather on the warmer side. I can see it on the vector scope as well. So let's use the offset to balance it a bit. I'm also making sure that the skin tones look right and natural. And this is before and after. And now I want to focus on the white color as I want to make it very crispy white. So let's go to the right node. And then I'll grab my qualifier and I will sample white from the clip. Then let's turn the highlight on and let's use the sliders to refine the selection as much as it is possible. And let's scroll through the clip. All right, not bad. Let's denoise it as well. And this time we also have to create a mask around the shirt. So let's go to power windows. Let's grab a custom mask and let's draw around the subject. All right, and now we obviously have to track the shot. Okay, and I will also soften the mask just in case. 
And now we will do the same with the skin. So I will go to another node and then I'll perform exactly the same steps, but isolating the skin. So let me speed up the video. All right, and now let's move to our look. And I want to add here a bit of a teal color. So I'll use my gamma wheel and then gain a bit as well. And this is before and after. And we can see that the white color and the skin remained untouched, exactly how I want it. So now I will move back to the node where I've isolated white color. And here I want to desaturate it and make it properly white. So let's try to use the saturation slider here. Perfect, this is before and after. So now it really stands out nicely. And I will also show you what you can do with the adjustments node at the end. So if you are working with a very high dynamic range footage, like today, you can use log wheels as well, as log wheels have more tightly defined tonal ranges for shadows, midtones and highlights than the primary wheels. So I can, for example, refine shadows more or midtones. It all obviously depends on your footage. But now let's see the final result full screen. Thanks so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.